Ladies and gentlemen, for all those that have their heads deeply buried in the sand, I'm here to wake you up for a minute. What's happening in America is indeed an insurrection. It's an attack against America. It's an attack on the campuses. It's a mob attack. All of this is seemingly being covered up as we look at the media and they're telling us that the police are the problem and the strong government is the problem. No, what's actually happening on the campuses is very serious. Who's backing it? What's actually happening there? And is it just anti-Israel? Or is it really anti-America? Is it pushing for and hoping for the destruction of Israel and America? Yes, it is. And its backing is in Islam and the belief of the Muslim belief that hopes for the destruction of Israel and America. Guys, we're going to dig into it right now. You're going to see some pretty outstanding content really exposing the real truth behind what's going on in America right now. I'm Joshua. And this is The Israel Guys. Welcome back to The Israel Guys, where we believe in a world of anti-Israel propaganda and Jew hatred. You should have a direct connection to the land and people of Israel. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed, do so on all of our platforms. Guys, the Israel Summit is coming up in uh, Nashville. Please uh, go to theisraelguys.com slash summit and sign up to join us there in Nashville as we really get the record straight. We're bringing in incredible speakers from Israel to talk about key issues relating to Israel right now. If you want to know the truth, be sure and come to the summit. You're invited May 20th through the 22nd. Guys, uh, we're talking about peaceful protest all over America. Uh, let's let's uh, play this clip here and let's just see how peaceful these protests are. A correspondent today is about telling us that the students that have been arrested just over the last hour uh, were very much peaceful protesters. The university has released a statement saying that they've called in the police because of so-called agitators, they say, who've infiltrated these protests. It's an allegation that's been made. What I really love about this is just how matter of fact Al Jazeera of all news agencies could be. It's very much so peaceful just breaking into buildings and smashing people's heads into the ground and resisting arrest. So very peaceful. Uh, you know, I could, maybe that's peaceful to Al Jazeera. You know, a, uh, you know, these Arab worlds do see far worse. Uh, so maybe to Al Jazeera, that's, that's peaceful. Uh, let's check out this next clip here. Yeah, just incredibly peaceful stuff going on all over America. Um, you've got hundreds of police going in and trying to bring quiet, not a peaceful situation, an incredible ruckus. We're talking about people banging out windows and and uh, pepper spray and fights. and all. We're not talking about a peaceful situation on American campuses. That's a facade that's going on under the, under the skies of freedom of speech. Now, give me a break. That's no freedom of speech at all. You can't go in and break the law on these campuses and just claim that it's, oh, we can do whatever we want under the freedom of speech. Absolutely not. Now, what we're going to break down right now is is what's really going behind this. Just today, guess what happened? Uh, the University of North Carolina, they pulled down the North Carolina flag that was flown over the university. Yes. Uh, I believe it was actually an American flag flying over the university. And they replaced it with what? A Palestinian flag. Ripped down the American flag over the campus and put up the Palestinian flag. Ladies and gentlemen, get it right. These attacks and their attacks, these mob attacks on our universities are attacks on America. They're attacks on the American flag, the American people, and their attacks on Israel. Don't just think that they're out to get Israel. The religion behind radical Islam is stated very clearly. They desire to destroy Israel, and then they desire to destroy America. Do we sit back and just watch it and say, underneath the freedom of speech, you can destroy Israel and America? Absolutely not. Under the freedom of speech, you can't destroy Israel and America. That's absolutely idiotic. It's the, it's, it's, it's the dumbest thing that you could possibly imagine happening, and it's being accepted across many uh, groups in America. They're not understanding what's behind it. 
what's behind it is religious, it's fanatical, and it's it's really racist, and it desires to absolutely destroy every Jew and every Western civilized person and create America and Israel into some sort of uh, clan run, you know, Middle Eastern, if, if there's anything, is the Middle East known for peace? Do we want to bring that Middle Eastern havoc that the Arab world has to our Western societies? That's the goal. Destroy America, destroy Israel, tear down the American flags and put up the Palestinian flags. We're not talking about an Israeli flag flying over the campus. We're talking about American flags being ripped down. You know, one, one big thing is, is in these protests, you'll see there, there's footage everywhere. Um, the pro Israel crowd always is mixed. American flags, Israeli flags. You will never find a Palestinian flag and an American flag. No, those Palestinians, they want to destroy America. Don't be blinded to the obvious. Now, there's something else that's really, really sinister behind the scenes here. It was actually said in an interview by a Columbia University activist, uh, a pro-Palestinian activist there, and she was on, again, the Arab network of Al Jazeera, and she said something very uh, telling. We're going to play it right here. It may scare you, but you should know. Let's play it now. And, and, and just educating people about the Palestinian struggle. Uh, these are going to be the future leaders uh, in our country. And I think that's also why. All right. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for the real down to the ground efforts to become fu fruition? She said it right there. This is the beginning. These people, the Palestinian people, will be the future leaders of our country. Whoa, okay, I don't have a problem with Arabs and Muslims living in America. No, I don't think any American does. It's free, to, that's part of America, it's free, it's great. But to say this is our country, and that's fine, but you're gonna call us your country, and we're going to ch make change in that regard. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. This is all an attempt to normalize our radical regime and put our people into power so that we can achieve our goals. Remember, the goals are stated very clearly. Destroy America. Pull down that flag and put the Palestinian flag because that's the flag of our cause. We don't believe in America. And we will also get rid of Israel in the process. That's the clear opinion of what's going on. Or, or the clear, that's the clear uh, of, of exactly the intent of what they're doing. Wake up, people! Hey guys, we'll be right back, but first, our friends at Israel 365 have come up with the amazing Israel Bible. If you don't have an Israel Bible, I encourage you to go and grab it right now. We have one here. We've enjoyed it. The Israel Guys team, we love it. It's great. Uh, it has the English along with the Hebrew with his commentaries as well. It's a very uh, thorough, well done, um, incredible, incredible uh, a gift for someone looking to get to know Israel a little bit better, as well as uh, just incredible if you want to deepen your study and learn about Israel in a deeper, uh, more tangible way. The Israel Bible is a great way to do that. Again, we've got it. We love it. Uh, go now. Down in the comments below, you'll find a link. Click that link and get your very own Israel Bible from Israel 365 today. A peaceful protest again. The big, massive event that just happened last night at the Columbia University um, where the police come in. You know, mainstream media is covering this like police brutality again. Guys, get the head out of the sand. They're, they're breaking to the building. And what kind of big signs and banners do they throw down off the building? Do you not know what the word intifada means? Intifada is like the holy war, the reset. This is what they're trying to do. And they're starting in our campuses, American campus. This is not a peaceful protest. It's not freedom of speech. It is an insurrection to destroy America along with its ally, Israel. That's the goal. Intifada has happened in Israel, and it's about to happen, I believe, in America. That's what's happening. We're seeing the beginning of it. Their fight to put their people in power is what we just talked about. And that's what's happening in America. And that affects Israel big time. We have got to stop this radical Islamic regime from taking over civilized Western powers. Again, this is not a 
peaceful protest, just go on online and type in Google what they themselves are saying. Type in intifada. This is what you'll see. It's the Arabic word, not an English word, guys. It's not an American thing. It's the Arabic word intifada translate to uprising or shake off. That's what they're talking about. Let's shake this American thing out of our way. Let's get them out of the way so that we can kill every Jew. Jews are no longer allowed in campuses, not because the police said so or the authorities said so, because this mob attack said so. We're letting it run rampant in America. Here we go. It says, uh, it has been used to describe periods of intense Palestinian protest against Israel, mainly in the form of violent terrorism. That could be noted in the Intifada in the 1987 uh, through 90, and the second Intifada, 2000-2005. This is what is being called for in America from our highest levels of education. Throwing a banner off of the campus, main campus building in the, at the Columbia University that says Intifada says one thing in Arabic, and our Western world does not understand what that word means and what that group is saying. A matter of fact, many of the protesters there that are joining these radical Islamists also don't understand what they're saying. These young Americans that have been misled to think that they have something in common with radical Islam, they don't. They've been misled. Uh, we want to talk about, uh, you know, mob attack. You know, they're calling this peaceful protest. It's peaceful. You heard it. Uh, and even the mainstream American news is talking about the same thing. You know, one thing happened, and this is not to mention this, but when January 6th happened, they called that uh, attack. If you just type in January 6th online, again, just use Google. Type in January 6th online. It says, a, 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 it says the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C. was attacked by a mob of supporters of the U.S. than President Donald Trump. I would assume, I would think, if we're talking about just education here, when you type in uh, university riots, you would get a similar thing. And I'm not talking about politics of January 6th. I'm just saying, just type it in. I want to make the point of attacks by a mob. They're doing the same thing. Going, breaking windows out. Whoever broke the windows out, we're not getting into that. But on these campuses, it's these these radical Islamist leaders that are going in, breaking windows out, and they're calling them peaceful protesters. They're not. Just, I'm just talking about a simple Google search. Should say what's going on in the American campuses is a radical attack by a mob of terrorists and their supporters against America. That's actually what's going on. I'll say that again. American universities have been attacked. Let's get this clear. American universities have been attacked by a mob of terrorists and their supporters. That should be the first thing that, of course, that's not what Google's telling you. That should be the answer to what the question was. What's going on in America? American universities have been attacked by a mob of terrorists and their supporters. And it's not peaceful. It's not peaceful at all, and it's not under the freedom of speech. We've talked about that. And really, since when did freedom of speech allow people to go and break the law? It's, it's insane. And people are actually being hurt. That's this, and, and every news network you see, right now they're actually talking about how, well, it's actually the Jewish people that are, uh, the Jews of America uh, are really the, the ones that are being vicious, and the police and the Jews. No, this thing is not about the police and the Jews. It's about an insurrection that's happening in America. And they're pointing it, in every wrong direction. Don't believe the mainstream title uh, news you're seeing. Don't believe when you, they point a camera in one spot. Here's what's actually happening. These pro-Palestinian rioters, here's a, here's a quote from a, a, an, a girl that had an Israeli flag, was there at one of the protests. This is what she says. She says, and when I was down, she was bent down to pick up her flag that was knocked down. She says, and when I was down, I was kicked a few times and my hair was pulled my, by feet, dragged across the ground, and then my head started bleeding. I lost consciousness and it was super traumatic. Um, nobody's talking about that. This, guys, they've got kafias. They've, they're wrapping themselves up. Every single one of them is blinded by their mask. What do you think? They, they're, this is some sort of sweet, peace-loving initiative? Well, if it wasn't against the law, they wouldn't be trying to hide their identity. This is what's actually going down. It's extremely. Guys, just check out the video. This is the girl right here being drugged and hit and bashed, knocked unconscious by this radical Islamic group. 
At one point, things got violent. A pro-Israel demonstrator was either pushed or falls to the ground. Later, she was carried out of the crowd with visible injuries to her head. Those on the pro-Palestinian side say the counter-protesters were provoking their peaceful display. Okay, guys, enough ranting. Uh, I'm concerned. I'm concerned for America. I'm, I hope that America, this, hopefully this wakes people up. Don't be misled. Mainstream media is actually in the pocket of many of the supporters of which support this very thing. Uh, it's no secret that the campuses across America are getting funding from a lot of this Islamic uh, and Arab funding across the Middle East that wishes for the downfall of America, the downfall of Israel. Um, news agencies are in that pocket as well. I hope that this has shed some light on the situation. I hope this has brought a little bit of truth to you. Guys, uh, continue following us. We'll continue to bring the news straight from Israel's heartland every uh, Monday through Thursday. We're bringing your direct connection to the land and people of Israel. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to stay connected.